Greetings, fellow creatures of the earth. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I pulled these cards last night, and then one of the dragon cards in the book mentioned the unicorns. It was the, well, not Gabriel's dragon, but I know it was Gabriel's because it says Gabriel in the book. Now, where'd it go? Oh, it's in the book. <laughs> I left it in the book to, oh yeah, to remember, to remind me, when I first opened the book, I opened to Quan Yin, okay? Quan Yin's pink dragon. And the lilac fire dragon was right before it, okay? So let's just go over the dragons first. So it ended with, on the bottom, Thor, Hathor, Thorn, mm -hmm, yeah. So that's Divine Mother, Divine Feminine, Power, Fire, Creativity, um, Protection, Transition, Transformation, Relax, You're Safe. Yeah, okay, you're protected. And I opened up to this one, which is very interesting because it has the same kind of energy as the Lilac Fire Dragon, but this is like the masculine and feminine together in one. Okay, the gold and silver with the violet flame transmuting together as twin flames, okay. Um, kind of looks like, oh, I just noticed it kind of looks like a clamshell, like a, like a makeup, like a cosmetic, um, those things you open up has a mirror, okay, or like a clamshell or something. I just noticed that, like it's one half here and the other half here opened up, two halves of one coin, okay. Clamshell, like two halves that make one whole, okay? Two wings, two lungs, two, okay. The lands, the winds, the wings, the lungs. So, earth dragon on the top, okay? Yeah, all about some earth dragon. I know someone who's born in the year, the earth dragon. Earth dragon. So, beautiful. So, I opened up, I usually don't open up to the middle with the dragon cards. For some reason, I decided to do that. And with the angel cards, too, so... So, the dragon cards that came out were Lilac Fire Dragon. Yeah, this is okay. So, beautiful. And I was just talking about this recently. Okay, these both came out together. Transmutes through the power of divine love. Open up to transcendent love and enlightenment. Purity of heart brings peace, hope, and joy. Okay, this was the other one, Pure White Dragon from Orion, and I already knew in the book it mentioned Gabriel, but I wanted to, um, now I'm going to go through the booklet and do like highlighting, just to get to, get to know the dragons better. And so um, it mentioned, uh, and I was going to pull a unicorn card too, and I decided, oh, we'll just stick with what we have, and it mentions unicorns in the deck itself, okay, with this book, it men um, with this card in the book, it mentions Archangel Gabriel, Unicorns and something else. We'll get to that. Okay, so I'm gonna I'll pull a unicorn and I'll do a masculine and feminine Buddha wisdom too live. So live recorded. <laughs> so the lilac fire. Okay, so this word bliss keep, keeps coming up. Bliss and ecstasy. It's talking about agape love. So that's the universal cosmic transcendent love. Okay, bringing in that enlightenment brings that in. And uh, we're paying attention to the quality of love, okay? Let go of the old easily, calmly, and graciously. So this lilac fire dragon, and I encourage people as things are blooming to touch the petals, smell the, you know, be careful of bees and thorns and stuff. <laughs> um, don't be afraid of bees and thorns. So hey, if you get thorn, yeah, something about getting pricked. <laughs> um, yeah, dissolve all lower energies. In pure love, okay, peace, hope, and joy, divine feminine qualities of wisdom, agape, and oneness. So there's the four types of love, the philia, which is what you have with your friends, agape, that's the universal love that you have for all of creation, all your reflections, uh, the oneness, okay. There's uh, storge, which is what you have with your family, how you love your children, um, your mother, your siblings, your, okay, your, yeah, and then, um, Eros, that's the romantic, okay, Eros, like, ping, ping, <laughs> shoo, ping, shoo, ping, yeah, Sagi, okay, 
Um, so bliss and ecstasy. Okay, and that word keeps coming up. And I, I don't have cosmetics, nothing. I get random, <laughs> random catalogs. It's always metaphysically, like, giving me signs. But this one, so it has the Pacifica brand, which is the, the clear nail polish that I use. It's a vegan... It's like eight freaking dollars for a little thing of it, but it's really good. It lasts forever and it stays on your nails for a long time. I just, it's like the best I've ever used. And so that brand's in there and then right next to it. So that's on the left side and on the right side. Cause I'm not interested in any of it, but I saw that in there. I'm like, oh, vegan. And it has like this little crystal like thing on a roller for your like eyes. And oh, I'm like, oh God, I need that. Like pull it out of the fridge in the morning, put some nice oil on that, roll it on your eyes and oh. <gasps> Especially for those having like skin issues and then on the face, right? <clears throat> but to the right were these other products and one said Bliss. That was the name of the freaking thing, okay? This pink, I don't know, face tonic stuff, whatever, called Bliss, okay? So uh, this is what it's all about, okay? And I <laughs> smell the flowers, okay? It's just like slow down, stop, look around, smell. Okay, smell the flowers. Now the pure white dragon from Orion. Okay, they both have like this purple with the gold writing. Trans transforms your ascension knowledge into pure wisdom. Process what you know, act with truth and honesty. Let your wings of light grow and expand. And it's funny because when I was reading this card, I was getting this tingly, like you get butterflies in your stomach, but it was across my chest and on my shoulders and up my throat just a little bit, not quite to the heart or the, the shoot. It was like, it must have been like the, I don't know, I felt like the wings and interestingly enough, then when I go to read this card, it, that stood out to me. Okay, so I was like, hmm, interesting. I was just having like a sensation of wings and then that card... I read after the lilac fire dragon that was giving me that sensation. So, so poor, uh, poor white dragon, pure white dragon. Where are you? I'm going to put numbers to the page numbers that correspond with the cards, I think, just to make it easier to look up because... Okay, so Orion, okay, so wisdom, left brain, so it's left brain, but uh, um, how to use that left brain with wisdom, okay, the application of the right brain, so those two working together in harmony, purity, clarity, and advanced enlightenment, okay, so both cards mention enlightenment, Archangel Gabriel, the unicorns, and the great white brotherhood. Source light, diamond white source light, okay? The vibration of truth. Impeccable honor and brilliance. Inve advancement on our ascension path. So these uh, pure white dragons from Orion advise you to examine, and that word came up, examine what you know with enlightened eyes. Process any information through your right brain for the highest good, okay? So it's... Processing it through the right brain, okay, when stuff comes on the left brain, process it through the right brain. Make sure both have processed it, basically, okay? If something comes in through the right brain, make sure you're processing it with the left, okay? Two halves that work together, two wings, two lungs. The eyes have been coming up and examining, so it's like, it's like having laser precision accuracy with those examining eyes. It's like you have special glasses on to examine, and you're seeing things that weren't there before, and... Yeah, like I was examining my thumbnail and putting up with the light, sunlight shining behind it. And you can see like little blue threads on, the, just with the naked eye you can see it, okay? So, embedded inside the nail, it's not lint. <laughs> if I had anything blue to make the lint like that anyway. Um, yeah, so. Morgellons. Morg. Ellen. They want to kill Ellen it. <laughs> Comment Ellen it. Okay, um, so when you hold, <clears throat> excuse me, when you hold white in your aura, people trust and respect you. This card calls on you to speak your truth, act with 
honesty and be totally honorable in all your dealings. And that's 84 and 85, 12 and 13. So, um, yeah, I was reading about Zebulon. It was the third one, which is my life path number, and that's Zebulon. Okay, anyway, and then the 12 cities and their villages. So 3 and 12 and 12 reduces to 3. So it's very interesting how these numbers keep coming up too. Oh, there was a little... You got these little bugs, like, um, in the springtime, they, they're like little crunchy, they look like little hemp seeds, <laughs> kind of, but real tiny, <laughs> like little crunchy, yeah. Black coffee, hold on one second. Hold on one second, hold on one sipping. Mmm. Okay, so, beautiful, beautiful, right? Look at these colors, okay, and they both have the gold and purple, which are complementary opposite colors on the color wheel, so it's no mistake that's probably why they chose those. Okay, so the Namaste card that came out, a blessing woven in time. And that's my last name, Weber, Weaver. Well, okay, so my great-grandparents, <laughs> Anna, yeah, um, they started the Trinity Alps Resort, Trinity in Weaverville, California. And their last name, Weber, Weaverville, Trinity, okay. The present circumstances are guiding you to a sacred space inside you from where you will see things more clearly. Look through the eye of the soul and you will find the answer. This card is a blessing woven in time. The time will soon come. So it's it's written basically, okay? It's just Okay, it's it's written for certain people, certain times, a certain whatever. So, okay, and then 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 it's just God's organizing skills. Okay, he's he she mother father God my divine heavenly parent. <laughs> okay, the best organizer ever in the history of history. Okay, so the bottom. The blessing of questioning and the top was a blessed gift. And what I remember getting from that was like, yeah, the blessing of not questioning. It's like the blessing of questioning. Yeah, like it's like the, the releasing of that, right? And not questioning this gift that's coming in because it's woven in time. It's written. It's destined. It's faded. And it is what it is. Okay, the angel card that came out was Metatron, Mercy. Yep, and it like did a backflip and went Ooh. Okay, so, and nice and like gentle too. So Metatron, we had Gabriel with benediction on the bottom. Okay, so that, it doesn't mean like cursing and stuff. That means like when you want to speak things into existence, when you're interacting with another person and engaging in a certain, okay. Bene, good, good. Okay, when you, for the good of all. It has nothing to do with cursing, curse words, okay? Um, it's like when you're speaking with people, you're not using those words. When you're in, involved in a, uh, well, something like this of the Divine Mother, okay? Mercy, that right brain, okay? The left brain also <laughs> fucking cut like a shadow. Okay, but... So I really get this, like, your hand being connected to your heart, okay, is another way that we're speaking into the universe our energy. We're radiating our energy from our hand, okay, which is an extension of our heart. And our heart is the portal of light that we see things clearly, through which we see things clearly. So that eye keeps coming up, okay, and it's on the... Um, gem Oracle card too. So that's Archangel Gabriel. Third eye, so the Ajna and the Vishuddha, the, the throat chakra. Okay, seeing things clearly, seeing the truth and speaking it. That's all Michael energy. And I opened up to Raziel intuition. It's time for everyone to start trusting their intuition. Forgiveness, Jophiel on the top. So forgiveness, benediction, mercy, okay, and then intuition. Okay, you'll know what's, what, who's who, when to do what, where, how much, okay, all that. God, God guides us, so, beautiful, beautiful, um, what was I gonna say? 
Oh, I forgot now. Well. What was it? What was it, you guys? It was something important. Um, something about the third... How about the third eye? Okay, so the Spirit Oracle card that came out... How did I do this? Oh, it was this one. Ancient Knowledge. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, the Kuan Yin, interesting because I peeked behind because I saw the top one, but I wanted to see what was behind it. Dreaming of You. Okay. And this is Instinct. Instinct. Dreaming of You. Okay. Listen to your intuition. Raziel comes through intuition. Dreams. Okay. So dreaming of you. Instinct. You know who you're... Mm -hmm. Passion. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Dreaming of you. Instinct. Passion. Okay. Ancient knowledge to know. <laughs> I've already known my twin in the past life. <laughs> okay. And then this one was... <laughs> that's like the egg and the sperm. Come on. Okay. Message from afar and... The card that came out for Gateway, the Gateway Oracle, was hearing from Spirit. And that one comes out all the time. And this has come out quite a few times, too. So it's like very much Twin Flame vibe. That instinct and intuition and... Um, oh, yeah, the intuition thing. I've never gotten a reading or session or anyone, anything from anyone. Okay, I always go straight to God. That's what I tell everybody else that I do. And that's what you can do, too. You don't have to... Waste your money on readings and, the, uh, you know, go left and right with it and see where... I, I just go straight to God. And it's always accurate. Like, I got a deck of cards, playing cards at the thrift store for a dollar. You can go to the Dollar Tree. You can go to whatever. Okay? You can make them up on index cards. You don't have to spend your money doing all this. And then, if you're going through readers to find readers, you're checking everyone out. So, and then you pick the ones that are getting the same cards you are and that doesn't mean they're always going to be they can come in and out of your energy and they got to go work with this collective for a while so you know it's all what you're resonating with and where you're at sometimes i'll purge on readings because it's like oh my god this king of swords won't stop showing up and then okay and then i go black i go black then i go black and pass out <laughs> and then i go back and look at and then i'm like oh okay that makes sense and then i see who's reading for my energies and you know, and then you res you have to resonate with their energies too, and their voice and whatever. Their iambic pentameter. <laughs> okay, so ancient knowledge. <clears throat> um, and, and I understand that readers they don't like to he the healers read it. They're making money, in their business. They got to pay bills. I understand they don't like me to say that. Okay, it doesn't help me make any money. We're not even doing that anymore. Doing personal readings. We're just. Um, you know, doing what we need to do to expand and grow and keep it moving, okay? So I don't, just staying doing tarot readings for me is not what serves me at this time. So I don't do personal readings and go back and forth with people. I put out the information. It's up to you if you want to, you know, listen or not, okay? So there is a flame. Oh, and when I went to, um... Was it last, I think the night before last when I went to bed, or when I was done doing a reading, yeah, and then it took all day, so it posted the next day, yeah, it was in the evening. So when I was done, I went out there, and it, it was on the um, part of the video, it's like a three hour, well, there's two versions, one's like eight hours, one like one's like three hours, it's the same thing, but, and I've shared it on my channel. So when I went out there, it was on the part where the moon's shining on the ocean and it, so the moon makes like this dot and then shining on the ocean, it makes like, it looks, so it looks like a lowercase I. Okay. So I was coming up and then it also looked like a flame. Okay. And then the, the, um, scepter in that, uh, Empress card in the dark sun deck. Okay. Um, or no, it was one of, yeah, from the fairy forest or the blessed deck or something like that. But that, so the scepter, the divine feminine, so I would just keep the flame and I, this kept coming up, okay, I and flame, um, like the fire in your eye, something like that, okay. So there's a flame inside your heart, a light that stems from the dawn of time. Ancient love 
and ancient knowledge are being rekindled. Oh, and I just said that word rekindled yesterday. I was talking about the people that are going to the pit, though, that don't want to stop being, doing, yeah, um, stop doing and start being, right? You want to keep doing and you don't want to do the be thing? You want to do the do thing? Okay. You're digging your own grave. Because you believe in death and all, okay, so that's the reality you're going to create for yourself. Close your eyes, connect with, and feel the loving wisdom you hold. Sorry, the garbage rent. Let it flow out from your heart and transform your life. So transformation, transition is big. I think, okay, the masculine is waking up to all the, and the, the, the divine feminine, okay, these higher, the mercy, okay, uh, forgiveness, that keeps coming up. Right, Joseph? Up, 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 up. There it is. <laughs> Forgiveness. And laughter, that helps. Okay. I was watching a video. Oh my God. I didn't even have my coffee. I didn't even think I needed coffee this morning after watching that. I was cracking up so hard. Like, girl giggles. It's like contagious. And Ellen was like crying. Okay. It was Mila Kunis and her, um, she's the act I forget her. I don't know her. I never knew her name really, but she I know she's on SNL or was on SNL, an actress on SNL. And they like did a movie or show or something together. But the thing is that they were playing this game where, so the other actress, not Mila, but the other one, I don't know her name, um, had these like mouth things to like, oh, oh my God. I put it in my expansion awareness playlist because I was laughing so hard. I was, my whole body was sweating and I was crying. <laughs> like tears were just coming out. I wasn't crying, but tears were coming out. Cause it's like when you eat like hot peppers and you just, <laughs> And then it gives you a giggle attack and you can't say, it was so funny because we were all, I was like totally engaged with that energy and it was great. It felt so good. It was so healing. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Oh, look at this. The vortex. Okay. Six, nine. That's the crab. Cancer. Great mother. Mercy. Okay. Mother mercy. Okay. Metatron bringing in that knowledge, that ancient knowledge. It's about mother is the most high yah. Okay. And if you don't know that, then, I, then you're missing like the biggest piece of the puzzle. <laughs> and I pray y'all get there. Um, okay. So now let's do, okay. I showed you the angels. Yeah, okay, that's that, that's that. Those are the dragons, that's an almost day. Okay. For the butterfly, we got welcome the new. Hello. And look at the high vibe, that, that purple and white, that, that's the ultraviolet is when you go into the white. That's that pure white dragon from Orion. Okay, that enlightenment, the purity. So that's the one that came out, welcome the new. And we had windfall on the bottom. Again, see, these, that color is like all in one. It's like concentric two circles yeah those are aster i believe but beautiful okay so again these colors so windfall and then we had spiritual growth so what i got from that was you're going to get a windfall of whatever it is that you've been needing money love for some of you everything health regaining your health okay so welcome the new a windfall of new okay because of the spiritual growth you guys did a bang up job and I meant to say succeeding admirably the line from almost or American Beauty and I said succeeding famously but whatever same message okay so welcome the new everybody butterfly up motherfuckers okay so this is stepping into stillness on the bottom okay with standing firm on the top so what I got was those of you who need to separate, isolate, you got to make sure people respect your boundaries and, and it doesn't matter if they understand what you're doing, your spiritual path, your spiritual growth, as long as they respect it. And if they can't, then goodbye. Okay? Then you can't take them on your path with you. Hearing messages from spirit, like I said, this one comes up all the time, so you can get all different kinds of ways. You can find feathers, you can, synchronizing with flowers, you can get a waft of uturi, okay? You can literally find an old letter, okay, and something triggers you to awaken some okay, so all different kinds of little trinkets you can find. The angels leave a card out of your deck and then you go back and it's like, what? Okay. 
So stuff like that. So messages from spirit. You have to step into the stillness to do that. Step into the stillness and stand firm in it. Okay. That's like self-discipline so you can hear these messages from spirit. It's very important, this new coming in. So that's part of welcoming it is carving out the time to, you know, give it its respect. It's like spending time with your wife, your children, you know. What about God? What about source the one gave you life, breath, a spark of your fucking shit? Right? Who's the one who gave you all? Look at all my shit. Look at all my shit. I just spit because I, I just said look at all my shit. And who gave it to you? Right? You better respect her. <laughs> Garnet came out. Ooh, 13. Mm-hmm. Oh, 13 flights of stairs. I don't know. Okay. Third eye. Garnet. That's my birthstone tune. Garnet. Gabriel's net. Uh-huh. Got you. Divine Mother. 13. Death card. There's Sagittarius. This, I didn't look up the Asana, but, um, oh, you know what? Did I? I think I just got so tripped out with the third eye and everything there. See, in Sagittarius, sage eye. Okay, so all this eye, okay, is coming up. Monkey pose, ha <laughs> ha. Right. That's funny because I was thinking the monkey yesterday. Did I look at that? I can't remember if I looked at this or not. Maybe I did. I'm like, yeah, monkeys are so cute. <laughs> right? Oh, look at the cute monkey until it flings poo at you and then you hate that monkey. Right? So I'm just saying. <laughs> Where are you coming from? Right? <laughs> okay. So it's called the Hanumanasana. Hanuman, like Hanu, Hanuman, Anu, <laughs> Hanuman, monkey pose, Anu, Anunnaki, that's so fucking funny. So this is, um, it fights depression, facilitates rebirth, relief, renewal, reaffirm. So good throat, like getting through this mercury, <laughs> murky, it literally says gray and murky, <laughs> Mercur, murky, re retrograde. <laughs> okay, so these times prelude a rebirth. So facilitating the renewal of optimism, the desire to fight. Okay, promotes faith in yourself and faith is our K of... Archangel Michael. Okay, so faith in oneself, will, and the joy to live. Joy, Jophiel, came in with forgiveness. Okay, and the, through the more grace with this forgiveness and mercy. Okay, not being a blubbering in it. We're, we're like having more grace and fluidity with it. And so um, it's bringing in joy, laughter, okay, through all this forgiveness. Oh, I was... <laughs> Joseph, if you're watching. Okay, so I have this pen that has a blue cap. Okay, like lapis blue, like blue. And the little back tip, okay, that pops up. You get the ink. Anyway, the little black tip, the little back tip, the, the pen cap, it's blue. Okay, it's a white pen with the blue. Okay, I go to write, it's black. I'm like, is that a Mandela thing? Uh, a blue... They were doing that too, weren't they? The blue, uh, orange is the new black, and blue. everything's just black now. You gonna look at the sky and be like, "Oh my god, it's nice blue sky today." People are gonna be like, "No, that's black now." They're like, no, but it's blue. No. Well, what about that pink flower? Black. But the orange, it's what? But it's called orange because it, no black. Okay, so every, everything is that. Okay, so some Mandela shit's happening. Every color is called black now. Okay, whatever. So it's a blue pen, but it's black. So blue is now black. So. Yeah, okay. We'll just call it Mandela Blue, okay? Um, <laughs> anyway, obstacles as opportunities for growth. Oh, so this is Five of Wands energy, and that makes sense because Sag, right? We rise above, we heal, learn from it. So hearing messages from spirit, gonna help you, um, you know, activate in your dream. You'll get a nice kiss from somebody, and you'll just you'll just have a nice blissful energy because of that. It's it's all etheric. It's all energetic. Okay, we have chrysoprase, 
with Pisces on the but this is really like that um, Christ consciousness okay and crown again with another third eye an angelite 11 and this is Aquarius Creso praise how oh, high I'm just saying <laughs> but okay the messages from spirit so this is like it's coming in okay this is more um, like the application of it okay because this is the air the ether but this is the water so bringing it into your coming into your crown okay this is seeing things clearly on here too seeing things clearly third eye ashna all right so let's get these all jumbled up over here <clears throat> So we'll pull a unicorn card. What do we got? Oh, we're already at a half hour? Does that say 20? Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's do this fast then. I had to pull a unicorn because it said in the book that I... So, and I was going to do these ones anyway, but... Because just with the magical, the elemental, right, the, the gem oracle, the butterflies, the crystals, the gateway oracle, the dragons, I thought, oh yeah, unicorns would be, you know, go with it nicely, but, <laughs> so I guess I was right, because it said in the book, the unicorn, so I gotta do it. So I'm just doing an oracle reading for the collective today. Yeah, I was kind of getting like balance or partnership, friendship. So we'll see what comes out. The Kuan Yin energy. So some of you might be getting some visitations, getting to know angels, goddesses, um, the ancient knowledge. So some of you really will full initiates, your heyoka, okay, your shaman, you're going to have initiations from the underworld, y'all the bayoff might visit you, you've got all kinds of um, full spectrum initiation, so ain't all that ancient knowledge coming in now, masculine, feminine, compassion, discernment, magic will take it, oh, because look at expansion on the bottom, and that's what I was saying, laser precision discernment, okay, the, the examination, okay, using that third eye so you can really see full spectrum everything, including yourself. Okay, balance was on the top, so I was already feeling that. And that's how we can expand, because we're balanced in our center point. That's where we expand from. There's no expansion when we're left, right, and we're going left and right with it. We got to look up so we can be, okay, we got to be centered balance in our center masculine feminine okay so our vantage point is looking straight up like the ace of swords okay we're not going left and right with it we're looking straight up but we have to be in the zero point which is our heart balance masculine and feminine it's not good and bad good and evil it's masculine and feminine that's the that's why she, oh she's been called evil in the book because they do it like that no it's masculine and feminine energies that rule the world okay that's what it is, light and dark. It's not good and bad. She's not bad or evil, okay? So expansion and balance, beautiful. That, that's what it's all about. Balance, that's where we're healed, perfect. And then we expand from there. We just radiate, activate everyone that way, okay? Everyone gets activated that way. But it starts first within, right? Going deep within, getting into the stillness and silence. So you can do that. That's the only advice I ever give. Get into the stillness and silence so these things can happen for you. Stop. Slow down. Value yourself enough to do this work. Because all the magic, that's what you want, okay? And you're going to build awesome skills of discernment, intuition, okay? Instinct, intuition. Um, okay, look. Just beautiful. Look at how passionate, too. It's like I'm getting the fire in this one. See the rose? 
and everything like that deep red it's in your blood you know discernment it's just like that knowing with you just how do you know you like chocolate ice cream and that's your favorite flavor i don't know i just know <laughs> okay so discernment magic compassion beautiful 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 be gentle with yourself forgiveness will set you free see the light in yourself and others beautiful christ consciousness okay again that violet and white the, that enlightenment okay compassion mercy forgiveness these higher virtues of the divine mother okay look at look at all that oh she's so discerning right she's got that wisdom she's so discerning all is not what it seems stay true to your knowing keep your dreams a secret so some of you okay you're building those dreams so you don't want anyone to come in and start you know spray paint and graffiti on you know what i'm saying okay <clears throat> excuse me that's why i deleted what i got scared when i first was talking about the the second dream okay ever when i found out ashton was my twin and with the cards and the dream because i got scared i deleted it i'm like no people are going to judge me this that or or it's going to be overwhelming i just don't want to deal with it. okay but then so now i'm just going to say the name i whatever it, it doesn't matter because look we're all one okay what did this say um forgiveness will set you free yeah so magic make a wish believe in miracles magic surrounds you i love it i love this card and this comes out actually quite a bit or it'll show up on the top or bottom or something okay so oh i love it love it love it unicorns oh you can come over anytime <laughs> This is I, oh, okay. Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. What do we have for you this time? Okay. If with kindly generosity, one merely has the wish to soothe the aching hearts of other beings, such merit has no bounds. Okay, expansion, okay. When we're in our zero point, we have these, this is where the higher virtues are because we're looking straight up to God, mercy, compassion, forgiveness. Okay. So that's where we expand from. It has no bounds. Divine feminine, that's your card. Okay. That's for males and females. Beautiful. Okay. Now masculine. What do we have for the masculine? Some Buddha wisdom. Kuan Yin was calling to me. That's why I was like, I just made that connection right now. I'm like, I subconsciously, I pulled him. I didn't even know why. I was like, just to have more than one to pull live on camera. And then I made the connection. I'm like, oh yeah, because Kuan Yin was coming in. When I opened the dragon oracle guidebook, it opened right to the Kuan Yin dragon. So Kuan Yin's pink dragon. Oh, and I was just in all pink. I must have, okay, and that's when, like, that dream came in when I got the nice kiss and everything. Okay, I had pink socks on, a pink, pink like, pattern robe, pink pattern, like, nightgown. Everything was pink, okay. Knowing that you shall pass, oh, ooh. Knowing that you shall pass away, how can you quarrel and let bitterness harden you? Sometimes we got to go all the way there, right? If you lost this per, if they died tomorrow, how would you treat them today? Oh, Ooh. that came up in the Bible and brother, oh, I've been talking about, uh-huh. But all the old will pass away. Okay, there won't be anything to quarrel about. There won't be any disease. There won't be any... You won't even get a hangnail. Okay? That's how freaking perfect it's going to be. And it's going to stay that way forever now. Woo! Woo! Resist the temptation of pleasure and the desire to hurt. You are a free person. For whatever reason, that for some masculine, I needed to read that. And the thing is, is that 
we only do these things, desire and hurting, push, pull, ego, okay, better than, less than, when we don't believe that we are free. We just have to remember and reawaken to knowing we're already free. Then we don't have to do this push and pull of duality. It's duality, people. Okay? I hope that helped. Bless you today, you guys. I love you. Love, peace, and blessings.